Hey guys, welcome to Vinetex Sound. This is Sony HTG700 Sandbar. This gear is powerful gear, very powerful, 400 watts power, and the sound quality is immense. A lot of people have been asking me how to hook this up to your TV. So what we're going to do is to show you step by step how to hook this up this soundbar you can connect it via bluetooth device you can connect it via optical cable hdmi cable and this is the sub hoofer okay so this is the this is the sub hoofer okay that's came with this okay this is the sub hoofer what you want to do is i want to show you how to hook this up okay first of all you need to make sure you unplug the subwoofer okay unplug everything likewise unplug the sandbar so here it is okay so what we need to do right now is first of all this is the sandbar we need to get the optical cable so the optical cable and HDMI card so you need to choose which one you want to use okay and we want to hook this up to the TV. This is the TV. We want to hook it up. So this soundbar, you have this is the optical cable, and this is the HDMI cable. So what I want to show you is first of all how to hook this up with optical cable. Optical cable is included in the packaging. Okay. This is the optical cable included with the packaging but I have it at home, okay? So what we want to do is to show you how to hook this up is what we want to do to the TV. We need to, first of all, switch the TV off, okay? We need to switch the TV off, okay? So this is, TV is off. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to bring it down, okay? To the floor so that we know, we can see what we are doing. So first of all, bring the TV down to the floor, okay? It's on the floor right now the other thing you can do or turn it okay instead of putting it on the floor i'm going to turn it around so that you can see what we need to do okay so turn it turn it around so you can un unplug it from the socket okay unplug the tv from the socket now also i'm going to unplug the antenna cable as well so the TV is unplugged. So make sure that it's not powered in. So turn it around. Okay. Now. Okay. So we turn it around. Now what we need to do is is to first of all show you. Bring the going to bring the camera close on the so that I can see. Okay, now put the TV back on this table unit. Here we go. Okay, now I can see from the back here. You, from the back, you can see what I want to show you right now is from the back where you can see where we need to plug in the optical cable and HDMI cable. You need to go. Okay, so this is the back of the TV. Okay. So this is the back of the TV. You can see from the back here. So HDMI cable goes in here. HDMI in goes in here. One and two. USB cable goes here. This is antenna cable. HDMI in three and four. Now, this is optical cable, so this is where to put the optical cable. We have, so the optical cable goes in here. Okay, so go in, push it inside. So this is the optical cable, okay? If one end cannot go in, try the other end. Okay, you can see 
optical cable is in. Now what we need to do is we need to put this cable. This is the sandbar. We need to look for optical cable. This is the optical cable here. So the cable needs to go in here. It's in. You can see the optical cable is in. Now this is how to hook this up. I'm going to turn the TV around, then also hook this back so that you can see. But this is where it goes. Okay. Okay. Now what we need to do is okay the antenna goes here. Now the antenna for the TV. The antenna goes here. Okay, this is where the antenna go, goes. So the optic cable goes here and plug everything on, but you need to make sure everything is off first of all. Switch the TV off, switch the sandbar off, then hook everything up. So the optic cable goes here. This is the antenna. I'm going to turn the TV around, okay? Then we'll go from there. So what we're doing right now is moving the camera away from the TV so that we we'll have enough room to do this job, okay? Now, what we need to do is to turn the TV around, okay, so keep going. Okay, so the TV is plugged in, oh, it's, it's, okay, so what we need to do right now, okay, so the, this is the the sandbar so what we need to do right now is to plug the TV in and also plug the sandbar in okay so the TV is what we need to plug in and also plug the sandbar in so that we can see what we are doing so this is the power cable now what we need to do is like I mentioned earlier So plug the TV on to the socket. Now plug the sandbar to the socket. Okay. And now what we need to do is once you plug everything in, we need to use the remote control and switch. Now this is the subwoofer. So you can bring the subwoofer down on the floor. Or any way you want to put it okay then plug it on as well on the socket okay now what we need to do is to put everything on put the TV on so this is the TV remote put it on so we just wait okay now this is the volume for the TV, okay? Without this is the volume for the TV without without the sandbar, okay? Now what we need to do is plug, switch on the sandbar on. You can see it's on. Please wait, okay? And right now it's paired with the subwoofer. You can see HDMI is showing. Now we need to go to the settings. Okay, on the remote control and get so from the settings is what we need to do. Go to the setting and check the connection. So, so go to the setting on oh yeah. here. TV. Okay. Now go to the sound. Go to the sound. Optical core. Now that you can do, you can also go to the, you can see it's on the sand, scroll it. This is internal speaker. Bluetooth. So what you need to do, you need to check, select the setting, then change it from Bluetooth to optical and check if the music, if it's connected. Okay. Okay. So what we, are going to do is to check right now if it's connected
scroll down to all settings so if we select all settings okay now go to the sound okay go to the sound if you select all settings go to, go to the sound okay select this sound settings go back to the sound sound mode setting sound out internal speaker we can select scroll down okay scroll down for internal speaker to bluetooth mobile to optical okay so scroll down from so once you select from the speaker scroll down to to blue internal speaker scroll down to bluetooth scroll down to mobile scroll down to optical select optical okay and what we need to do right now is increase the volume Or scroll down to optical plus internal speaker. Okay, but also you need to make sure you change the input from the change it to TV. Here we go. So right now, change the change the input. Here we go. So change it. So you need to change the input. Over here that I made. So you need to change it from HDMI to optical cable. So once you hook it, once you hook it up, okay. So you need to make sure you change it to the optical cable so that this will will stay. You can also select BT TV. So optical and TV in, okay? So you can select. Lisa Good with Alan. We'll yeah. be working in magic. Here we go. Very kitchen. So right now, it's connected. Really delicious. Nice I'm yeah. <laughs> okay, you can see the sound quality. Okay. You can increase the volume okay so right now this is gear is connected via optical so right now we connect it via the tv okay so go back so use the there use your remote control can see so right now this gear is connected okay via optical cable i didn't want to put increase the volume so that it will not be charged or talked about copyright issue but right now 
once you select it on optical and leave it on TV, you can increase the volume. You can change it to music or cinema or surround system. Okay, so guys, this is how to hook this up to optical cable. Thank you very much indeed and stay blessed.